Hello, this is Don with MechSoft Support. In this quick video, I want to take a moment to show you how easy it is to create bridges and tabs using two and a half axis profiling operations in RhinoCam 2016. Now, bridges and tabs are used to uh, help maintain the part position on your spoil board by allowing some material uh, to stay connected with the part and your stock. And you can do that automatically and manually uh, in RhinoCam 2016. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to do it automatically. As you can see, I have a part on the screen. I also have my stock defined, and I have a work zero set up in the top left corner of the stock. So let's get started. Go with the two axis and select profiling. And for our part regions, we'll select, uh, select curve edge regions. And we have a curve created at the base of our part here. There it is. Right click. So we got our region defined. Next, we'll go to our tool and we'll select the half inch flat mill. Uh, select the default feeds and speeds, the default clearance plane. For cut parameters, we'll set the tolerance to 0.001 and we'll set our stock to zero so we're going to cut right up to the edge of the part in our profiling operation. For cut direction we'll select mixed. For the cut start side we'll pick the use inside outside for closed curves and then select the outside option so that it machines on the outside of the curve. And for our cut width and step over we'll set it to zero because we're going to have one pass around the part. For our cut levels the location of our cut geometry is at the bottom of our part. And for the total cut depth, we'll select the pick button and we'll pick two points, um, one on the top and one on the bottom of the part. So we got a total cut depth of one and three quarter inches. We'll set that to say a quarter of an inch uh, each level. And for the entry and exit, We'll use uh, lines and arcs for each. And on the advanced cut parameters tab, this is where you set your bridges and tabs. First off, I wanted to set the cut arc fitting. So we're going to fit arcs to our line segments. And we'll use a tolerance of two thousandths. And uh, typically, if you're going to fit arcs, make sure your arc fitting tolerance is slightly larger than your cut parameters tolerance. So, so we have one thousandths here and for our arc fitting we have 2000. And here's where you set your bridges and tabs. For this part we'll select rectangular bridges. We'll have a total of four bridges spaced evenly along the outside perimeter of the part. We'll have a bridge height of say uh, 125 and a bridge length of say uh, 2.5 quarter inch wide and an eighth of an inch tall. And let's pick generate. So you see that we have our profiling operation here displayed. So let's go ahead and simulate that so we can see the bridges and tabs. Go to the simulate tab, select the operation. Let's go ahead and turn our stock on. Select the operation and pick play. And if you don't want to wait for it, you can pick pause and then go to end. Now it's going to be easier to see the bridges and tabs if we go ahead and turn off the part and we'll turn off the toolpath. And you can see here that we have four bridges and tabs, right? One here, one here, one here, and one back here. And you can also, these are uh, rectangular shaped tabs. You can also set them to triangular shaped. And you can also control the exact location of bridges and tabs by creating a predefined machining region. And you do that uh, using the regions tab. That's it for now. You can visit us on the web at www.mexop.com. Thank you.